Hi there guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing a review of a fragrance from House of Afnan, Middle Eastern House. One of my favorite house alongside Latafa, Rasasi, Armaf, a lot of them out there. Arabian Oud, you know, Al Haramain. I do cover a lot of them because they seem to get a lot of fetch, a lot of views for me. You know, I like that, you know, whenever I have productivity, that means uh, people actually sort of finding these fragrances uh, interesting and they are kind of popular. And I'm back to my old specs, by the way, my new specs was not happening, guys. I was wearing this and this one, they give a complex, I don't know what it's called, progressive something. They have like top tier, sort of like a top part has certain power, bottom has like a sort of like a bifocal. I was getting blurry vision. I couldn't drive because I couldn't see properly. So back to my old specs, which is serving me much better. So I can see myself. I can see you guys. No, I can't see you. But today we'll be looking at this fragrance called Bleu Nuit. Okay. And it's actually not blue, it's blue, okay, so like Bleu de Chanel. So thing is, perhaps it's a Bleu de Chanel clone, perhaps it's a, I heard, it's a YSL Lanoui de Lom Oil Electric clone, we'll see, <laughs> we'll cover that. And this is actually Latafa, Afnan, they sort of like expanded so much with their different branches, or branch rather. And this is Ted Angel, this is part of the line, and bottom, I read somewhere, it says, manufactured by Afnan Parfums, okay, if you can pick it up, okay, it's written there. Afnan perfume. So this is sort of like sister concern or their one of their fragrances. Okay. Really nice packaging. I just recently got it uh, like yesterday. I'm going to do initial impression. These are on the budget side. These are under $20. Very affordable EDB concentration and it's long lasting. Uh, I did try it. It's 100 ml I, I suppose. Yes, it's 100 ml. Okay. Nice looking box. Reminds me sort of like an icon by Anthony Banderas, the icon fragrance. Okay. This is how the packaging looks. Nice little packaging. Very robust. See the bottle, it reminds me of a certain bottle, I'll show you very soon. This is how the bottle looks. It looks really nice in the daylight. If you take it out, if you do some pictures and stuff, this looks beautiful. Blue glass, like Bleu de Chanel. Reminds me sort of like Bleu de Chanel sort of glass. Same color, midnight blue or something. And then the cylindrical bottle. I think it's nice, just except this gap. It's sort of like, you know, this people who have tooth gap, you know. So this is kind of like, uh, it looks a little bit flawed, to be honest. And if this one closed, it would look like this bottle here and i find them similar armani score i think they sort of took inspiration or maybe it looks like i don't know i like to compare perhaps a uh, deodorant stick maybe perhaps but the bottle looks nice this one doesn't close i tried this is how far, as far as it goes cap is light plastic nothing heavy and apart from the bottle looks really good okay base looks like that so i think this one just came out and i have it on my hand uh, this one is interesting it is a very interesting one it reminds me of a few fragrances, but mostly it reminds me of one perfume, which this one actually cloned, okay? I have it on my hand. If you can see the oily version, oily hand, this one was sprayed like 10, 15 minutes back. It's still holding the oil. This is what Middle Eastern fragrances do. Even the clones last a long time. So let's spray some of it here. Okay, this one, like small, small burst, okay? Not very good spray, I would say, but enough distribution. So if you are going to decant this, this is going to be a little bit problem because the sprayer is kind of cheap side okay apart from that enough dis distribution so i don't have a nose breakdown on it so the seller uh, the page is called fragrantica bangladesh they are the one who sent it to me and they sent me another fragrance as a gift from crown perfumes i think uh, i'll review that soon that one was a gift this one i paid uh, to get it because i thought this is gonna be a blue electric no why sell uh, blue electric yeah blue electric is the name or all electric? <laughs> I get confused. The blue electric, new one, which is supposedly a new version of Lanoui de Lom, which is long lasting, similar to vintage. Is this a clone of that? No. Uh, this one, only slight bit of resemblance in the opening. When I feel there's a citrusy opening, which is kind of like a blue, citrusy, spicy, sweet opening, it reminds me a little bit of the blue slash citrusy opening of that blue electric of Lanoui de Lom. But that's it. Five to seven minutes, it changes and it changes fast. This one becomes a gourmand, sweet, uh, spicy, uh, very uh, familiar DNA fragrance, which is going on right now. You know, the one fragrance I'm going to show you and I'll name you the other ones. If you see there's Pakuraban Phantom, where is that? Phantom. It's right there, right? Oh man, yeah, there. Phantom. Mostly, if you like Jean Paul Gaultier, Scandal. Scandal Purom. This one dries down. This one dries down to that sort of a DNA. Some of you will be disappointed because yeah, I am actually looking forward to O Electric, sorry, Blue Electric clone because Blue Electric actually was released at a high price, discontinued at a high price. Now the price are even higher. I don't want to do that. It's just not possible by me. I like my Lanoui Delorme 
fine, you know, I do like my Lanry Delorme as its original form. And I do like some of his other flankers, but Blue Electric, for the price, I don't like it. It's a decent fragrance. It's a long lasting one, but not be small. So this one in the opening reminds me a little bit of that. Little bit, you know, little bit, but that caramel, you know, that sweetness, kind of like mild spicy, you know, you get from uh, the Pakuraban Phantom, Scandal Purum, Azaro, Most Wanted, Wanted by Night. It has those vibes, okay? And this one, it's a mix of those fragrances. Longevity, it's pretty, pretty solid. Four to five hours easy uh, from the application that I did. You go like six, seven sprays, it will go like five, six, five, six hours easy on the shirt. Skin, I don't know. On my skin, I got like three to four hours. But after that, the dry down still stays, but pretty the base notes, basically. So it's, it's the name is kind of confusing. Blue Nui. Uh, perhaps it's uh, good for nighttime, but there's nothing really blue about it. It's just the opening citrusy blast, uh, sort of like has that blue electric lanudalum vibe, which you can enjoy for five to seven minutes, maximum 10 minutes. After that, it will start changing to that gourmand, sort of like a nutty, uh, warm, sexy, sweet, vanilla property, which I like a lot. It's a very decent fragrance. I did cover another Scandal uh, Purom clone. I do not remember which one it was, but this is not the first uh, Scandal Purom clone that I have. Uh, but this is actually pretty good fragrance. If you remove that part of blue and then the blue electric comparison, this is a very decent fragrance for the $20 budget. I would actually any day recommend you this over this. Of course, the uh, quality of Scandal Purom, it's a lot better, better ingredients. But uh, this one, longevity is pretty similar to this, you know, like Scandal Purom does last six, seven hours easy. But the projection actually is sort of like similar in this and you pay fraction of a price. So it's a solid fragrance, make no mistake. And uh, I am a little bit disappointed because I thought I'm going to get either Bleu de Chanel. I had no clue. But basically you've got Scandal Purum, Azaromos Wanted and then Pakuraban Phantom with that opening of Bleu, de, uh, Bleu Electric Lanuit Delon vibe. Uh, but uh, do not consider this as a Bleu de Chanel or Bleu Electric clone. Okay. But for the price, really good fragrance, solid 8 out of 10 for this perfume uh, because this one can fit anybody's budget. If you're a student, uh, you can definitely try it. But I'll tell you one humble request before I finish this video. Uh, treat a clone, treat an inspired fragrance as it is, okay? You, if you are paying for 20, 30 odd dollars and you are getting something of a dupe that is uh, original one cost about 100 something dollars, 80 dollars, and you're expecting the same quality and better, you know, if you want more natural, I think you should stick to the original, okay? Buy the original, let's say if you bought a Leighton clone, it will never be better than Leighton. Could be a better value, maybe price versus what you pay. Uh, I mean, price versus what the quality is or uh, how uh, much practical that is in terms of projection, how close they are to the original. Those ways, yes, but do not consider a clone better than original. I will not say Scandal is a worse fragrance than this one right here because this is inspired fragrance by this. But when it compared them for the value, this makes more sense to me. You see, there's a different, there's a distinctive uh, fine line between the two, right? So 8 out of 10 for Blue Nui uh, by Afnan. I'm just going to call it Afnan, okay? And this is Ted Angel, this line, okay? Check it out. Bangladesh, uh, Fragrantica Bangladesh has it. Other countries, I'm not quite sure. Maybe you have to do some research. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. I'll go upload these. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.